two republics with liberty stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Could I please have a motion to adopt the amended agenda? So moved. Second. Second. Um, discussion. Uh, you see that we will not have a budget presentation because unfortunately Kate is sick. And we have um, a new action item. We have three additions to substitutes and um, volunteer. Is that right, Deb? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Abstentions? That motion passes 7 0 0. Um, next is community input. Does anybody have anything they'd like to share or say to the board tonight? <coughs> Welcome, everybody. <laughs> so glad you could be here with us tonight. Okay, then we have communications, and first for that is the superintendent's report. Um, I just wanted to uh, thank you, the Board of Education. Last week was uh, Board of Education Appreciation Week. I hope you received lots of emails and cards and love, and there's lots of love on the table for you as well from uh, the district. Some uh, thank you cards that you could use that say home of the Bobcats, um, a lanyard that we're giving out because we're really trying to push the Bobcat pride, and the hot plate bowl, which is from um, the, U the LFA union. So lots yes. of gratitude. We know often it's thankless job. You put lots of hours in, and uh, the way that we get to see you lead is usually through kindness and love and just really a true desire to support Lansing students and families. So I have a lot of gratitude uh, as well. So thank you so much. Really appreciate you. Um, just a couple updates. We have um, a policy meeting tomorrow at 3 p.m., and that will be held here if we have more members or in the superintendent's office which is right next door if it's just a couple of us and um, there is the initial task force meeting kickoff meeting is tomorrow that's an invitation meeting for community members uh, faculty and staff that have shown interest in um, looking at our school culture climate ways to improve ways to support strengthen and um, celebrate our, our successes and that is at 6 p.m in the large group instruction room in the high school. It is once you go in, it's the first door right after the um, principal's office on the left. And our next board meeting uh, is on November 12th, and we will have a facilities meeting prior to that at 3.30. And that usually goes 3.30 to 5, and typically we'll have dinner after and um, stay for the board meeting if you want to, or you can have some time to head home. But we are finalizing some details for the, <coughs> the 2020 project that will start this summer. And we're ready to really kick off and look at uh, our ne next project and what we'll be looking at. So that will be the start of that, com that conversation. That's what I have for you for now. Did you have a question? No. Oh, <laughs> okay. sorry. No, I got it changed. <laughs> okay. Actually, before we go to, well, why don't we go to your board ed, and then I'll have something for you after the board of ed reports. Okay. Um, do we have any <coughs> committee reports? No, no committee reports. All right, Debbie, I'm sorry, I got, I got this message to you late, so you didn't. Um, there were uh, five of us, I think, who attended mm -hmm. the NISBA convention in Rochester. Um, and I think we, between the five of us, we made almost 20 di different um, workshops or educational sessions. Um, I did make a table of the category of se no, 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 it's fine. I know it's late. The category, the category of the session, like school improvement or finance, etc., and then each board member that went to something under that category. So what's really neat about the table, I like data, is that um, you can see what people care about or um, what we went, w what we went to. Um, so at some point, maybe at a, a workshop, that's way too many to share right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but maybe at some point, uh, we can have some kind of workshop where we do share it with each other. But that was uh, very well attended. Lots of us have um, some feedback and things that we uh, would like to share with each other mm -hmm. about that. 
Any other comments on people's attendance? Can I ask a quick question? Yes. So each of the panels that we went to, I have it on an app, had some PowerPoint or something like that. Mm -hmm. Those are, you can. Yep, share them. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yep. I, I just, I didn't know. I yep, sure that's for you. So part of our gratitude, um, as you know, we have Beauty and the Beast Jr. Uh, coming up in early November, and we have mm -hmm. Dominica Reeve here, who's going to be joining us to sing to you, uh, which is just to show you our student talent, how amazing it is, but also to say thank you and to provide a great performance. So. I will stay, but I don't deserve to lose my freedom in this way, you monster. If you think that what you've done is right, well then, you're a Where I should learn to be happy. Never dreamed that a home could be dark and cold. I was told every day in my childhood, even when we grow old, home should be where the heart is. Never were so true, my heart's far, far away, home is too. What I give to return to the life that I knew lately, and to think I've complained of that dull provincial Was excellent. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was wonderful. Hope you guys all come to see the show. We Absolutely. 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 We'll be performing Wednesday and Friday. Whenever it's better, we'll be performing Thursday and Saturday. Awesome. We have to. Our kids are in it. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Good job. Oh. It is fabulous. Oh my gosh. I don't think so. Seventh and eighth for the least. I think she's in eighth grade. Oh, good. It's going to say a sixth grade? Wow. No, it's not. We don't talk that way. Oh, 
Um, just in case any of you are students here, um, the, the way our agenda unfolds is, as you can see, we have our agenda items that we um, try to bulk, I mean, proceed through. <coughs> and um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we will be talking about board goals, and then right under that, number seven, that says consent agenda. And all the items under the consent agenda, A through E, are reports that the board has been given in advance. They are not anything that we have to deliberate on or talk about. Everything that we do as a board must be done in public because the public, including you, have the right to see us in, in um, what our opinions are and how we make decisions. But for that, that, that those are sort of like what's called pro forma, and they're just reports. We ask questions, and then we accept them. So if you have any questions on that, feel, feel free to ask. Otherwise, I'm going to. OK. So um, our first presentation, and only presentation, is on board goals. And Chris is going to start us off on that. I will. I would also just like to, I know there's a lot of student athletes that have had a lot of success this past week and a half, so congratulations to you guys on, mm -hmm. on all your success. We'll be presenting on that at our next board meeting. Um, Athletic Director Lovelace comes and shares lots of, of the great details and your administrators, so congratulations to you guys. Uh, so uh, board goals, the, we have board goals and they are t uh, typically, r the ones that we kind of do, are, they're almost like a task list of things that we want to get done at, at certain time periods. As, as, as we're reviewing our board goals, our district goals, and superintendent goals, the last time I really did a full update with committees was uh, three years ago. And as we're kind of going through, and I was uh, working a little bit with Christine and Susan um, on the, our processes, we thought it would be a great time to really get into uh, looking at the proto our protocols, looking at our board goals, looking at our uh, my superintendent goals and also the district goals with some guidance through maybe uh, NISBA. And Christine went to see, um, what was it, Jamie, Jamie McPherson. And I saw him a few years ago as well. He's a speaker. He really focuses on board goals. So I, one of my recommendations would be to, if we could, in the next within the next month, find a time that we could meet uh, off of a board meeting to have an hour training on board goals how they connect to the superintendent goals, how they connect to the district goals, and then take our, our structure, the skeleton that we already have, the goals that are already our goals for the district and the um, superintendent goals, and, and do committee work. Typically, I'll involve community members, that will involve uh, all stakeholders, uh, student, high school students, maybe some middle school students. And that's a much deeper process than just the board goals. When I'm looking at district goals, we're looking at uh, really a wide range of stakeholder with board input as well. And then looking at your goals, how do they support those district goals? What, what are the resources and what are the needs and how can we as a, as a board support um, district goals? One of the typical, uh, typical district goal might be uh, you're gonna have 95% graduation rate. Uh, some schools it might be 90%, it's all based on your demographic and what your top typical is. Our current, um, is a, our current goal is 90%. Typically our, our graduation rate is anywhere between 92 and 98%. It's been the last few years. So, and then we evaluate, and then there's strategies that each building does to make sure that we're meeting that goal. Um, and then as you know, one of our district goals has been uh, social emotional learning. I'm just giving some samples so you can kind of see. Social emotional learning, we need some, we, the committees at the uh, building levels would be getting together at the district level and determine those needs. And some of those needs ended up being personnel. So we bring them to you, you look at it, we look at the goals, we talk about why we need the personnel, and then you decide how do, we, how do we use our resources? How can we support that need? And with your input uh, in, into that goal as well. So really looking at all the connections. So some training, we have some new members. It's been three years since we've really gotten deep into the training. So I would highly recommend that we find a time and get together and really look at board protocols and look at um, starting with uh, goals. So we do have probably 15 to 20 protocols that are on their website. Happened about five years ago when I first started, we reviewed protocols to make sure we have had some protocols for the board. Um, I, I'm proposing that you allow policy to uh, kind of look at those 15, those protocols, look at the NISBA protocol book, kind of come up with a plan to, for us to have workshop time at each board meeting or at least one board meeting a month to look at the protocols together and make some suggestions and then have a, an actual book made by the end of the school year. 
uh, um, which our communications person could do, create for us. So it's not just this one, you know, these random uh, protocols listed as we do them. So, um, so, we're, so we can be more cohesive, really have a strategic plan for protocols, for goals, and for our next steps, um, leading us into budget season, which will end up being, you know, it it's starts really in January, kick, kicking in, and then uh, we'll be um, making some big decisions by April, April, May. So that will be a big part of this as well. Just to echo what Chris is saying to us, um, I was really excited by this presentation by Jamie McPherson. It was probably one of the best um, in all my time on the board, best presentations I've ever been to. It was a packed house. Um, but one of the things that he said is um, everybody, every board is unique and sets their goals at different times of the year. There is no best time of year to do it. While some boards might do it in June, we have found typically in past that our Junes are really, really busy. And um, in fact, we we po we postponed that last board meeting in June because people's schedules are a little bit frantic. So he did recommend that the uh, uh, next best time is late fall, which is kind of now. And he said one of the things that happens is it directs the board's attention to the budget and to sort of validates um, the budgetary requests that are in line with the district goals. So I, mm -hmm. I found that really um, rational, and I thought for all of us, not just a, us veteran board members and not just the, the new people, but this kind of training would be um, time well spent. Did you have a question? No, I was just going to say I always enjoy training, I think, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. that we would benefit from going through this training process, mm -hmm. um, but I also have a question about where these goals exist currently on the website, just so that everybody... I, I can, we can send the link out to you. I have a feeling this might be an earlier meeting, so a quicker meeting, so we can, um, I'll, once I get done with the meeting, I'll oh, send okay. them out to you. Sure. Yeah. I think there's, um, there, you guys might not have noticed this too, there are links that are um, a little lagged and it's nobody's fault, I don't think. It's not until somebody clicks on it and notices that right. this person's yeah, not here anymore or yeah. whatever the information is. So I do think we have board goals on the board website. I'm not sure that there are these and I'm not really sure when or actually if um, the 2018-19 board um, approve these. I don't. I don't remember, and I don't. I wouldn't know where to look for our past agendas. I'd have to really search. Mm -hmm. um, so let me just ask too. Are we saying then that um, we are going to have training on board goals? So that's our decision for tonight. That's well, I have a question this. about that. So, yeah. are you saying that this uh, this training will take an hour, or how long do you anticipate it to take? There, they will. Um, Got, put this in any format that we want. If we want to have discussion, I would I would say it would be closer to two and a half hours total. Well, yeah. wait, well, when you first kind of said an hour, I would say, can we just look at doing it like an executive session? Because it is November, we start getting into holidays and breaks, so we might want to look into maybe doubling up on a board night, but if it's two hours, that's pushing it. If it's like an hour, an hour and a half, maybe you could treat it as a session before right. meeting. If it's a short meeting to come up. Um, well, I, I don't, I appreciate what you're saying about time, but I'm not so sure it would be executive because when we're talking about it, it's open to the public. So even though it would be our meeting and our sort of workshop, we're not doing anything that requires us to go into executive. I'm sorry, executive in the sense of before a meeting. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Pre meeting. Just pre meeting. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I, I want to make sure we have enough time to talk about it. I don't want to just sit and listen mm -hmm. and then not have any time to then apply it. So mm -hmm. I think right. we've got to carve out enough time to make mm -hmm. it worth mm -hmm. doing, or else it's, to me, it's just, yeah. I think you discussion know. is important. I think it's it. more important, I think, even than the presentation. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think this is an investment that we're making in our board mm -hmm. and in the way that we do things and what it is that we do, both the process thing as well as the substance. Thing, 
Yeah. No, nah, no discussion. You'll just make it go. <laughs> <laughs> Here, just take it. <laughs> no, it's fine. And you have the present. This will be the, the presentation. So um, take some time to look at it ahead of time so you are get an idea of where, you know, where he's coming from a little bit. And uh, you'll get some of the language at least uh, ahead of time. Was there more information that was shared through any of the links that you guys got, or is this pretty much it? Um, this is it, but is each it? one of yeah, in terms of the PowerPoint that he yeah, used, yeah. but I, each one of us um, took <coughs> our own notes on things that we attended. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, I didn't attend this <coughs> one. If that's okay. what you're asking, if there was something more than what this, I don't know. I mean, obviously, I think there was discussion in the session, but okay. I think Christine, you're the only one that attended <coughs> this session. All right, so very good. Thank you. There's not anything more. Okay. All right. Great. Anything else there? All right, thank you. Um, could I please have a motion to approve the consent agenda? So moved. I'm sorry. <coughs> Did you want something? I just had a, I just had a question. So if 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 I may, if we're then saying we're going to go through this and go through this workshop, are we holding off on the adoption of any other goals until after we've had that training? Is that what That's I'm my understanding correctly? That is my I mean, we're still, <coughs> there's things on there that we're still going to complete. Right. Well, it's not that we're not going to do yeah. that. But what I'm saying is we are, we are going to be trained on how to do goals, and then we will go through the process of adopting yes. the goals. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? All right. Could I please have a motion to approve the consent agenda? So moved. Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Abstentions? That motion passes 7-0-0. Could I please have a motion to approve the proposal for Tatum Engineering PC for the 2020 <coughs> Capital Project Commissioning? Second. Um, Chris, did you just want to give us a brief? Sure. This is uh, an engineering uh, firm recommended by Petrotech. Uh, sometimes I have to consult out, and you'll, it's connected to project that we'll be completing this summer. So we would like to get this approved mm -hmm. so we can start, we'll start our bidding and start sending everything into the state. And the engineering, as you know, engineering and mechanical is the two longest processes. And mm -hmm. So we're hoping this will help move us along by getting this piece approved. Okay. Any other questions for Chris? All in favor, please say aye. aye. Wait, aye. Linda, did you have your hand up? No. Oh, no, all no. right. No, aye. no, sorry. Any opposed? I'll hold on to them. <laughs> <laughs> Abstentions? That motion passes 7-0-0. Now, as part of our bo board protocols, we went through training last year, and we were advised by the New York School, School Boards Association trainer um, that the board should not give kudos to people because sometimes what that does is um, it shows uh, which things we care about and uh, other things that maybe we're not involved with, and so it might seem a little unfair. And also, if you give kudos, you should also be able to give it nine kudos. I don't know what the opposite <laughs> of, I don't know, English teacher maybe, who wants to see, I don't know what that is, criticisms maybe? Um, and so we decided as a board at that workshop that this is the time where if you did attend something or you want to say something else, now is the time to do that. So, is there anything else tonight? Yes. <laughs> JV Volleyball Girls are the yes. champions of mm -hmm. IAC large school for the last school year. So congratulations to them. They had like a 15-1 record, I believe. Nice. Again, yeah. And who are the other sports groups? Are there other sports groups here? Who are you? Boys soccer? I don't know. I saw Jordan's going to Oneonta on their sign. Are you guys? Yeah, we're, um, we're, we're the one team, so we're hosting Del High. Exciting. Ah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. The football? Did I hear football? Yeah, I heard football is going to do a college for playoffs on Friday. Nice. Okay. August okay. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. Nice. Yeah, I saw. Girls play. soccer is going the second, the second game of uh, IAC sectionals too. Yeah. <laughs> quarter, quarter final. Quarter final. And are there any academic clubs that are going to something? Something? No. Okay. Not yet. <laughs> the right timing. Not yet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when you do, we will be here to celebrate you too. And uh, girls cheer. 
Wait, oh, wait a minute. There was an art so There was an art show. Or there is there an art show. Yeah, there, mm -hmm. Yes, Coming there is. Yeah. Yes. But uh, it's not here. It's at downtown. So it's downtown. That's right. Yeah. I think there's the section is next Friday. Okay. Okay. We're really doing some unique things with the art shows and with um, the fall, the Tesla dramas. Have been the, yeah, the, they had the one act plays. Yeah. One yeah. Act one act plays. Yeah. 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 So we really do right. want to celebrate everybody's right. sports and everybody else, not just sports. And also, this is the best meeting for you guys to come to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah. And I mean, I know we're not, this isn't uh, lauding anything within the school district, but I will say as a brand new board member, it was wonderful to go to that conference. Okay. It was, the energy was great, able to meet lots of people. The, every session I went to, I was able to pull stuff from, and great. it just, you know, it was, it was a really great, I'm glad it was in Rochester and it was easy to get to. Well, so. I'll send out that table. I, I so there's, that. there's a thank you to, you know. Right, well, thank you to the district for Yes, absolutely. Our That's that absolutely. For our food. Yeah. So I, I just wanted to clear one thing up. So we are giving out kudos or we're not? <laughs> <laughs> that was like a lot. I know. A lot of kudos. I know. There. I opened up the gate. You did. <laughs> you did, Christine. You did. <laughs> but okay. I, think we hit, I think we hit almost everything. Yeah. All right. Okay. You know, okay. In the circle. Thanks, Tony. It's nighttime. No kudos. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate ones. Could I please have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Abstentions. Aye. That motion passes. We are adjourned. Thank you.